Jesus. All right. What is going on, boys? So welcome to the highly requested video by many to talk about my unnatural transformation of two years. To start off this video, I want to let everybody know that I appreciate you know everyone who's here, everyone who's supporting, and I am trying to make a little comeback to YouTube. I know I was going for a little while and stopped for a little bit. What that means, I guess, everyone who's here, everyone who's supporting, if you're here watching the video, please go drop a like real quick before I get into everything. And uh, yeah, so basically to kind of go over some things, I do recommend not doing this. Okay, I'm not trying to promote the use of anything, and I think it is better to stay natural. With that being said, whatever you do, I always recommend having guidance and having support of someone who actually knows what they're doing. Never just try to dive into anything without having some sort of knowledge behind what you're trying to do or support from someone who is very knowledgeable in that. I think you get what I'm getting at here. You know, when I jumped into this, I just wanted everyone to know first thing, I did a lot of research, okay? And I did have guidance, I had a coach and things like that. Um, people basically guiding me in the right direction. I'm going to basically put up some videos of some befores, probably some bench squat deadlifts, some afters on the bench squats deadlifts, some before just maybe even pictures, and some afters. I also want everybody to know that that span of two years within that transformation, it was not two years unnaturally. It was about seven months, I believe that was done on natural throughout that time frame. So the blow up portion was actually done within, like I said, about six, seven months. It was not like a full two years of being a natural. Actually, I stayed natural for quite a while before going on. And another thing to take note of, I had been training naturally for many years, okay? So when I started, I was 21. And for reference, I just turned 23, July 16th, you know, not that long ago though. So just keep that in mind, okay? I had been training for about six, seven years naturally before just deciding to go that route. And also bear in mind, I also been doing a lot of research. I did inquire with a coach and make sure that I had the support I needed before trying to jump into something like this. Now remember, it is not like, it's not like smoking weed. You can like pick it up, the next day you wake up, you know, you were high last night, you're sober today, you go about your business. You know, this is something that you need to take very seriously, okay? It's like a life decision, bro. Once you go on, there's like, I mean, I'm not gonna say there's no going back, but dude, it messes with so many different, you know, parts of the way your body functions, okay? Hormones are just scratching the surface, you know what I mean? You got side effects and all kinds of sorts of things you gotta worry about when you're deciding to take this route. So yeah, another thing I want to note before going into this is my reasons, okay? I realize that's something that's kind of important. My goal ever since I really started taking everything serious is, you know, looking into the future, I want to be able to go pro in bodybuilding. The whole reason I started social media and all this kind of thing was to really support me in a way that would give me the time I needed to really invest in myself to try to, you know, essentially be the best package I can. For me, I believe it is some sort of bigger purpose than just trying to look better at the beach or look better with your shirt off. I had kind of gotten obsessed with bodybuilding at some point when I was around like 19 and started really pushing on and taking everything serious. And another thing I forgot to mention that is also important, I also had gotten a coach way before I even had done my first cycle. So it wasn't like it was a last minute decision. I just want you guys to know there was a lot of preparation that went into this. A lot of people just, they look at my after transformation and put it right here. And they think like, oh, he's gonna die by 2024 or whatever. And people actually have no idea what's really going on. They didn't see my blood work. They didn't see like how I actually was functioning during that time. They just see me breathing hard, looking very pumped and everything like that. And they just think it looks super unhealthy. Another thing people don't understand is you can take anything and everybody responds differently, okay? Some people are gonna grow, some people are not. I was grinding, okay? When I say I was grinding, I was like living bodybuilding during the months before, like in terms of preparation for going on to cycle, and I was 100% living it when I was on. 
I was making sure my sleep was at least eight hours or more. I was doing six meals a day. I think I was doing about 4,000 calories on a regular basis daily for almost that full six month period. I think I went from about 217 pounds, 220 pounds, all the way up to 280 pounds. The thing is these PEDs, they help. You don't get me wrong. They give you a full advantage over a natural lifter. But at the end of the day, if I hadn't done everything else in conjunction with that, I wouldn't have looked the way that I did. The reason I looked so unhealthy and all that in that second, uh, the after video that right here, I was 280 pounds, bro. You don't get to 280 pounds just sitting on your ass and taking something. That's just not how it works where you can't sit on your ass and play video games. And I'm not sitting here trying to say it was all me, but at the end of the day, I was willing to definitely do whatever it took to get to where I wanted to, okay? And I took it very serious. I wasn't just like, okay, I'm hopping on. Like, I was hopping on with a purpose, okay? I wanted to make something happen. And I made sure that all of the foundational elements were in check. Sleep, diet, health supplementation, the whole bit, everything that goes into it, training, training to failure. I'm just making sure every single piece that I could have optimized to full potential, I was doing that. Okay, so that I can maximize. I guess let's go ahead and talk about what. Now, I, I want to be kind of careful when talking about what because I don't want people to take what I did and go apply it to themselves because everyone is different, okay? And I think a lot of people think I was taking everything under the sun to get the results that I got, and that is not the case at all. Okay, so I don't want to talk about dosages, but I can tell you one thing that people were saying, Trent was not true. Like I said, I want to be very just careful with how I go about this because I don't want people to do it, okay? I think it's a very, very big decision, but I want to be transparent. I want to be honest in the whole thing. So, obviously, it was taking tests. There was tests, okay, involved, and there was one month of one other substance that was used within that whole time period, and it was more so an experiment type of thing. That doesn't even really matter, but Throughout that whole period of the unnatural transformation, within six months, seven months, whatever, only one month was there another compound added into that, and it was at a very, very low dose. Okay, so my primary, everything I was using to build that crazy transformation was, I don't want to use dosage, but it's what I feel like a typical <laughs> cycle would be for a person who's jumping into it, maybe at 100 to that. It's, you know, <laughs> I don't want to get like exact. But it really wasn't insane. It definitely wasn't out there. Like it was just your typical take test this amount type of thing would be. Okay, the cycle definitely helped. But I was working harder than I ever have. Say maybe it gave me more motivation or whatever you know reason you want to call it. But I was grinding out everything more than I ever had. I was trying to maximize everything to the best of my ability to be the best that I could. So I didn't expect anything to do the work for me. When I got inside the gym, I lifted with a purpose, man. I trained extremely hard. Like I said, I'm going to show the before and afters here soon on some of my lifts and things like that. I'm not trying to say they're super impressive or anything like that. I'm just gonna be transparent about fours and asters and things like that. One thing I do want to note, just so that you guys understand some things, I'm not to be super vulgar or anything, but the amount of times I took a shit, I was easily shitting five, six times a day. That's like unheard of, bro. Any of you sitting behind the phone screen, computer screen right now, if you can tell me you were shitting five to six times a day, I would be very shocked, okay? And yeah, sure, my digestion was probably out of whack a little bit, but I, like I said, I was at, to the point of probably forcing actually. That's why I'm trying to tell you that after video where people see me, I'm just like, like that. Like I was eating my ass off. I mean, my fucking ass hurt, bro. Like, I was eating so much food. Having to go to the bathroom five to six times a day is not normal. I'm just trying to let you guys know there's a whole lot more that goes into this kind of thing than just the actual compounds and just taking tests or gear or whatever. Because like giving, like, someone who's extremely talented and has, like, you know, all the potential to be an NBA fucking basketball player but doesn't do all the necessary things in practice and outside at home to do all the work themselves to be the best that they can be on the court. It's like, just because you have the potential 
doesn't mean you have the discipline and motivation to go in there and unlock it. So just know that there's a whole lot more than just taking something and thinking you're going to turn into Superman, bro. It doesn't work like that. And even still being on, things don't change overnight. You know what I mean? You still, I mean, it's a little better. I ain't going to lie to you. But you still wake up every day and still think you don't look different. You still are going to have body dysmorphia, bro. It's all the same type of shit you deal with kind of natural, in my opinion. Health and blood test importance, guys. Like, the reason I bring that up is because when you do something like this, you have to consider all the other aspects. Because if you want to be smart about it and you care about your health, you can't just jump into something like this and not consider all the other factors at play. There's a whole lot of factors that need to be considered, and it's a very, very big um, life choice, in my opinion. Okay, And I think I already said this, but everyone responds different. So just because you take what Seabomb took doesn't mean you're going to look like Seabomb, bro. There's just, you know, there's something called a hyper-responder, okay? And I consider myself to be a hyper-responder, and a lot of other people that I've talked to in transformations I've showed, they consider me to be a hyper-responder mainly because of the time in which I grew and the amount I was taking for the actual results I got. Um, that you got. There's apparently, I haven't actually experienced this from like people that I've known personally, but apparently like there's people who grow extremely well naturally and they hop on stuff and it doesn't even really improve them that drastically compared to where they already were at in terms of gaining muscle beforehand. So there's that too. So the way you respond to gear itself is also a factor, you know what I mean? You don't know how you're going to respond. It could be extremely bad, it could be extremely good, you never know. And last thing, having a coach and being smart about it, bro, like, like I said, it's a life decision, all right? It's not just like a regular type of thing you can just play around with and then let it go. It's not like that. It's something you got to keep up with, you got to maintain, and you have to keep an eye on it. You know what I mean? It's like adding in a whole other stress to your life, okay? It sounds like fun at first, but believe me when I say it can be kind of stressful. It just becomes tedious. It becomes something that you have to, like I said, kind of maintain. So there's just a lot before you just think about doing something like that, all right? It is not easy, all right? Like, I'm not trying to sit here and give myself kudos, but it gives yourself a whole lot more to worry about, really. You know what I mean? So it's a very big decision. So with all of that being said, I'm sorry for some of the rambling, for everybody that's been sticking through trying to gain my insight. I really appreciate you guys. Like I said, I hope that you all stick around for the future videos and things like that. I do have plans to compete in the future. I'm working with Kyle Wilkes at the moment. Love the guy. He's a great guy, and he's kind of helping me. He's guiding me in the right direction, so excited to see where we go with that. So if you guys do plan to stick around, I'd love it because we will be having a prep series somewhat around the corner, and I plan to be very... Um, just honest and in-depth about everything I'm doing going into the future. So, yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into some of the transformations, which I'm sure you guys are excited to see. So to kick things off and kind of give you an idea of where we were in terms of starting point now, granted, this was before actually going to fish the on. So here we got me, um, yes, Natty, and just really shredded. And then there's me of here in these gray shorts. Um, pretty lean, pretty lean, and honestly, I still think this is pretty decent for Natty, I guess you could say. Yeah, so that's kind of what we're looking at for the start. point to give you some of the afters. I'm going to start off with giving you an example of me being on, but still relatively lean. So as you can see here in the bucket hat, I still was relatively lean here. So what I'm trying to explain to you guys, I'm taking the same thing that I was going to be taking in these photos I'm showing you next. But I was much cleaner on my diet, okay? This was before I started pushing the food super hard. Then, just to kind of give you an idea, it's not all the PBs, but also a lot of the food. Diet is huge and training, but I was pushing food very hard. So as you can see, there's that. And then there's the uh, after video that you guys are used to seeing here. After pushing food really hard. Um, now there's also this picture of me in the tank top here in the blue, kind of just hitting like a side chest type of thing, as you can see, very just full, very full. Then there's here the hitting the little side, whatever this even is, just kind of showing the arm gains that been going on. Arms look absolutely massive, as you can tell though. I am not lean 
at all. And you can also see some of the acne that I was getting from the sides from it. And also some of that probably being because I really was just not clean eating. So there's that, man. These are some of the afters. Okay, I'm going to show you some videos too of some befores on my lifts and then afters. But yeah, just to give you guys kind of an idea of what you're looking at here in terms of the progress that was made and all of that. So hopefully that gives you guys some insight. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and go over some of the videos now. Let's start off with... This video of me squatting. Now this is back, like I said, completely the attic here. Um, legs actually look pretty good, man. Um, cannot complain there. So here we go into hitting the squat. Backing up here. Very clean. I think this was 455. Very deep, at least parallel. Boom. Nice little natty squat for you. I remember being very, actually, very happy about this. I think I... Yeah, I was pretty happy. This next one here, I was benching. This was my first time hitting 315, I believe. Let's see, can't guarantee form was the best here, honestly, but I do remember being extremely happy. So here I go on racking it, down, bounced, boom. Call it what you want. These are kind of the best videos I have showing my progress at the beginning before. And then we got a five plate. I think this might be a fail, but this is all I had. So, and sorry, I'm kind of cut out of the video here, but here I go to pull it and I'm doing whatever I'm doing with the face there and it slips grip and whatever. Didn't get it. So yeah, I was pretty happy with my lifts back then for the most part. Obviously I didn't have me completing that because I think the best I had for that was I couldn't find a video. So now to go into some afters, we'll go ahead and start with squat for the afters. Five plates and ten on each side. So as you can see, I was going for reps here, I guess. Pretty decent, I would say. Going for the last one here. Push, push, push. Nice, nice. Now we re rack that bad boy. Alright, um, oh, 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 I do actually have another squat one here. This, um, it's just kind of shabby, I would call it. I did end up hitting this for a single on a later date. Um, that was much cleaner, with no assistance. Didn't get that on video, but call it what you want. Now getting to the 4 or 5 bench. 15, 415 pound bench here. Neek. Boom. And I was pretty hyped about that one. I remember feeling really, really happy about that 450 pound bench. I always wanted to bench over 405, where you actually just hit 405. So yes, those are some of my befores and afters. So hopefully this gives you some insight on what it was like for me. Like I said, some of the side effects that I had mainly were just acne. I didn't really get any crazy guy now. I had a little bit, like I actually still can feel it like a tiny bit. That's more like pea size, like it's almost not even there, it's not visible or anything like that. So I don't know if you can really count it. But that, and then acne was the worst thing for me, I think. I think that's one of the more common ones. I wouldn't say it was like overly excessive. I mean, it definitely wasn't good, but it wasn't like OMG. I don't know. But anyways, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Don't let this, you know, be a reason, hopefully, to base your decision. If anything, it should be a reason to, like, stay off because I am telling you, it's not really that worth it unless you're trying to accomplish something where it's necessary. And that's my own opinion. Everyone can have their own opinions. Okay, it's just for me. I'm not going to stop until I get my pro card one day because that's what I care about. I've always wanted to be a bodybuilder. Yeah, I post a lot of things that are like funny, comedy-wise, everything like that, but ultimately it's just been a strategy for me to get myself out in the industry in my own way, okay? Fitness is super saturated at this point. A lot of things on social media are, but I knew I had to be different when I was up and coming, so that's how I went about it. I didn't really start transitioning, trying to make my way into the fitness industry until later, I really just tried to get noticed. So that was the way I kind of got my foot in the door with getting into the fitness industry. I kind of just tried to take my own approach and thankfully it ended up working. Just trust the process, hope for the best. And now I'm doing social media full time and that is fully thanks to you guys. So just know from the bottom of my heart, I'm super, super thankful. I know from some of my videos I come across as 
whatever I come across as to you, but uh, just super blessed and super thankful to be in the position that I am in. So ultimately, where I want to really take things from here on out is with a much more focus on fitness and a much more bodybuilding focus on itself. I think ultimately I'm not going to let the comedy side die down. I've always been about like just being funny and trying to make people laugh. I've always enjoyed that. So there's always going to be that take on it. But I definitely want to get more serious into the bodybuilding side of things and really show that side of me for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please stick around, subscribe, like, comment, share with your homies. I would appreciate it because I'm going to start um, posting videos again so you guys can kind of follow my journey. And I will be making an update to what's going on cycle-wise here in uh, the very, very near future. So subscribe, stick around to see what we are planning on doing for that going forward. Yeah, I guess that kind of wraps up the video. Um, just to give you guys some insight, lastly, because I've been kind of all over the place, I do apologize. Um, I did come off like almost completely after that transformation um, to give my body a break. I stopped working with the coach I was working with. I didn't really have some of the guidance that I needed. And I just kind of got a little bit nervous, so I wanted to come off and try to do things myself and just be healthy and things like that. I ended up losing a lot of gains, and yeah, that kind of wasn't worth it, bro. But at the end of the day, I'm kind of getting back on track now. Motivation is back. Discipline is always there. So we are going back on. When you watch this video, I am probably back on because I have plans to go um, compete in the near-ish future. But anyways, guys, I really appreciate you. I love everybody who's supporting me. If you guys want to support me, make sure you guys go use one of my codes in my link, I think, in description. Helimix is honestly one of my favorites, bro. I love the shaker cups. If you guys want to support me, go grab one. They're cool. They got a bunch of colors and shit. So, anyways, guys, I love you. Appreciate you. And I guess, I hope I will catch you in the next video. Peace.